Good day all on another dialysis of tips and tricks for the dialysis technician. I wanted to address an issue that I have seen personally with my own eyes and my good friend Courtney, a preceptor down in California, also reminded me about something that I should address here with y'all. Um, we define an infiltration as the needle going through the wall. Um, as you can imagine, that can be painful depending on the nature of the, the, the fistula um, because it goes directly into the tissue. As those of us who have been around for a little while know, infiltrations are the worst when they're on the venous needle. The reason for that is because as the, the needle goes through the wall and into the tissue, we basically begin injecting their blood or whatever have you into the tissue, which, is, which causes that extreme swelling, that huge golf ball type thing that can happen. Um, sometimes it's not so visual, but usually after an infiltration, we will notice a lot of bruising around the infiltration site and swelling. And that's a lot of because we just injected that whole area of tissue with blood. One of the things that I have noticed and scares the hell out of me is seeing technicians adjust venous needles while the pump is moving. Bad idea, y'all. Do not do that. Um, I've seen folks try to like lift it up, do pillows, or even wiggle it, what have you. You are begging for a whole lot of problems if you do that while the pump is rolling. Uh, my personal method is to stop the pump, uh, get a 10cc syringe, and check the thing. Aspirating first, which means pull on the plunger first. Don't ever inject first thing because you will not know if you're in the fistula or graft if you just push. If you push heparin right away, if you push saline right away without just pulling back before you make sure that you're in the fistula, even though the pump is stopped, you could bam, infiltrate them. <clears throat> Especially when you're in some of the techs and states where you guys are able to administer heparin directly. Uh, here in Alaska, they don't let us do that, but I've worked in areas where we can. I like that because that allows the technician to even double check the flow and just how good the venous needle is placed. Uh, but I have seen dialysis nurses walk up, you know, get the line filled with blood, backfill it, take it off, connect the heparin, and just push. Oh, scares the hell out of me because it's such a stupid thing to do when all you have to do is aspirate. Just pull the plunger back and find out whether you're in that fistula. These fistulas and grafts are their lifeline. And all the, the, the headache for us, you know, ice packs, redoing a needle, blah, blah, blah. This can cause permanent damage to their lifeline, y'all. This is a serious thing that has a very easy solution of just simply checking whether you're in that fistula or not, or graft. Pull back that plunger. Make sure you're in there before you inject. Do not ever adjust a venous needle while the pump is moving, ever. It is a terrible idea. It is, you might save yourself five seconds of time getting a TCC syringe and undoing it and connecting it and checking, but if you infiltrate that patient mid-treatment, you could end their treatment early, cause the patient loads of pain, cause yourself a monster headache and a bunch of drama because you didn't want to spend five to 10 seconds checking it with a syringe. Come on guys, let's never do that ever. That's just my main uh, point for today. I just want to thank you guys for joining in and listening. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about the video today, uh, let me know. I do understand that some places really dislike the idea of us disconnecting the bloodlines, but when it comes to preserving their access, this is way more important than, you know, disconnecting the bloodline for a second. This is way more important than that. So anyway, my name is Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.